All right, guys. So it's about seven fifteen in the morning. Um, I'm actually just went and got gas for Nevaeh so she could mow the grass. Uh, kind of debated on whether or not to do this vlog post. One, because it's early in the morning and I wasn't planning on doing it. And two, because uh, I don't know. This is a new kind of vlog post or vlog post for me. I tend to not like to turn on the video camera when I'm in a restaurant but it's something that I definitely want to show you guys because it's a big part of my life and especially coffee shops I'm always like I want to go to the next one and try the next best thing and this one is extra special to me because I found it um, through word of mouth two years ago a I, I was actually at a Starbucks in town and they were like well let's go try the new coffee shop and I was like what new coffee shop I was so excited when I found out about it and what makes this place extra cool and special is the people. The owner is super sweet. Um, her daughter is just as sweet, go figure. Uh, and all the people that they hire have been wonderful. And then the people that come in are so different and unique. Like I have a friend, I'm going to put her website in the comments below. Um, <clears throat> she runs a minimalism business. And she's been on USA Today, and she's written books, and and she lives in a, uh, I want to say a teardrop, but I know that's not right. She lives in an Airstream, and just travels, and she spends six months in places, and she decided that she liked Hillsboro so much, she stayed here for a year. Amazing woman. And then another amazing woman that I met here, actually, it's kind of like the opposite end. She's not cluttered, but she... Um, owns a, a historical house here in town and she just is super cool and loves to uh, drink wine so I'd, it, I guess she likes coffee too but I just it tickled me how much wine I drank at her house and she's so welcoming and she gives everyone hugs when she first meets them and I just think she's amazing um, they both are amazing and it's just because I get nosy and chatty in case you haven't figured that out um, but anyway, so let's take a tour of Overflow in Hillsboro, Texas. I hope you guys enjoy. So more than likely, I'm not going to talk in this post whenever I'm inside just because, I don't know, kind of ruins the vibe of a coffee shop. But I do want to take you outside so you can see a little bit of Overflow. Um, a big thing that I want to point out in this video is that Overflow will not be Overflow for much longer, but we will deal with that when the time comes. All right, so they have a, cool, a cute little outdoor seating area. Over there is where I went to one of my first meetings whenever I became a teacher. And this is the building. It was a lot different. The lady that owns the place, her husband owns a um, uh, construction company in town. So he did a lot of these renovations. Absolutely beautiful. And here is the front. Overflow 